Hey guys, this is Artem with Market at Monster. Today I want to show you how to set up a post purchase flow on Clavio for first time buyers from your store. Now the post purchase flow is very important and you have a number of objectives that you want to achieve with this. Most commonly being making sure that the customer comes back to purchase again from you to make them into a lifelong customer incentivizing reviews and also just drip feeding them content and introducing them to more products from your store automatically. So you can see here the trigger, just going to hide this, should be when somebody places an order as you'd expect. And then how we normally set things up, we go in straight away with an upsell in the first email. So we're preparing your order while you wait. I'm just going to give you an example of what this looks like. So you can see we've used a GIF image for this client with 20% off just for 24 hours only. Again, having that time sensitivity on the dynamic coupons, which would appear here to make sure that customers take your offers seriously. And we've had a lot of success having this upsell in the first email, generally speaking, because when people buy from you, they're considered really, really hot and they're more likely to buy again. So strongly recommend going back in with an upsell straight away after the first order. It's a great way to increase the average order value. So we're going to wait a period of time after this, five days. And for this client in particular, we've went in once the order has been fulfilled. So it's important to have this either a flow filter or conditional split. And then we've tried to ask them for a review. So this is a very, very simple email, a dynamic product block would appear here. And essentially we're just trying to drive them back to the website to leave a review on the products. This is because they don't have a third party tool like Yopo, which I know a lot of people like to set up to get the reviews for the stores. So very, very simple on email too. We're just trying to get a review once the order has been fulfilled. We're going to wait a few days and you can play around with the timing. And then we want to migrate people over to our social channels. So not just keep them on email, but to get them to join that family type culture tribe that you want to build for the omni-channel approach. So we've got a selfie competition for this client. And we're trying to get people to share selfies of the items they've bought from the store and then they're entered into a giveaway on a monthly basis. A great way to get that user-generated content from customers who've purchased from you before. Very, very simple email, just a call to action to go on Instagram and share content of products they've purchased from you in a story or a static post as well. And obviously it's nice to reward the customer and acknowledge them for this. So we've waited a week after this one, and then we've went in with more of a content-based approach. So we're not necessarily trying to sell directly in this email. We're trying to drip feed them some style advice. So what to wear for an interview, everything you need to know about cufflinks, mastering the art of bow ties. So the goal with this email isn't necessarily to sell it to add value. And we use this a lot in between selling emails to provide a break from incessant sales and also to add value to the customer's life and just get them to ultimately drive traffic back to your website where they can browse and consume more content and collect more data on them so you can send more segmented offers. So I always recommend using something like this in the post purchase flow just to give a break to the sales promotions. So I've waited another week after this one and if someone hasn't purchased again at this point, we want to include another strong opportunity to join the Pick a Pockets VIP club, as we've titled this information with the, the owner. So you can see we've used another GIF image, GIF, however you pronounce it. These get very good click through rates, highly recommend experimenting with them in the emails. And again, time sensitivity, 24 hours only. You want your customers to take your offer seriously and you can only do that by using the dynamic coupons ultimately with time limits on them. Again, we're just trying to present some of the, the best selling items. They sell a lot of wedding accessories. So we've included some of these in the email. 
So that's it, essentially. It's a blend of upsells, migrating to social channels, and good quality content that can enrich the lives and leads with value. Not always about selling, but building that community, that tribe feeling of the brand, keeping them engaged so you have more opportunities to remarket to the customer in the future. That's what we're trying to do with the post-purchase flow. So I hope this helps. There's many ways to set one up. I encourage you to play around with the content, do some A-B tests, of course, and just find out what works best, what resonates with your customers and keep testing. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.